What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we are back on the No Money Spent Squad account and we got a bit of an admin day. There's some free packs to open. We got some quick sales to get rid of and get some coin. And most importantly, we're going to be building out our first two rookie premier cards on the No Money Spent Squad. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the video get noticed also if you're brand new here you are searching on youtube for month 23 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it feels like it's been a while since we dropped a no money spent squad video and we've still been using this account not as much as we did you know prior to the last couple weeks but it's time to start planning for mutt 24 time to start liquidating the no money spent squad in mutt 23 to build out rookie premieres now i'm not going to be able to get all 32 done on this account we're going to do it on our main account where we have spent a little bit of money but the goal here is to get the best possible cards to get us situated and started for the Mutt 24 year. And we're going to build out two rookie premieres today. And I'm a little worried I'm making the wrong decisions on a couple of these, but we're going to YOLO it. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. We also have a bunch of free packs to open up. I don't really remember what's in here, to be honest. Uh, we got some quick sells, some strategy items. I'm going to open those up, but not make you sit through it. You don't want to see a bunch of silver strategy items in 2K quick sells. Uh, but we do have some other packs that are a little bit more worth it so we got this red zone royale pack remember first week was sam hubbard we had a 99 overall card he is now down to an 80 overall card week number two is going to be this logan thomas card by now most of you are aware about this but we will insert him into the lineup likely because we are going to be playing games over the next couple days until part three of the rookie premiere slash red zone royale promo which comes out on thursday and we get a brand new login reward at 99 overall logan thomas solid card we don't really need it at, at tight end because we have Harold Carmichael there, so I don't really know if he's going to see the field a ton, but we'll probably throw him in the lineup. Uh, we have a Backyard Ballers BND pack from probably an old comp pass. I really don't remember where this came from, and honestly, it doesn't matter because whoever we pick, we just pick left end Donald Parham. He's getting quick sold, 40K training. We're using most of our training right now on re-rolling the Mold Breakers 93 plus pack because we're either going to get a 93 or 95. Usually don't get anything above that. 93s and 95s will also help us build out rookie premieres. Uh, we have a game day pack and then a 98 overall non-BND Mold Breakers pack, which we're probably going to sell that card for coin because as it stands right now, coin is king and we need them to help us build more rookie premieres. So here is a free pack we're pretty much going to quick sell everything we'll keep the gold uh quick sell everything but the 91 because again the 91s can help us build out red zone royale cards which equal then to rookie premier cards so they have some some use there right they're, they're definitely worth keeping uh here is the mold breakers pack originally when this field pass first came out then we have maxed it out that's why we got this pack uh, originally the goal here was to pick basically the best card available to help us build out a 99 overall ultimate set um, but that just doesn't make sense anymore right a lot of cards are stupid cheap currently and at this point like i said in the intro of the video we're liquidating the squad so we're not really trying to get much better than we are right now we actually went down one in overall i can't remember specifically why it happened but one of our players who was boosted up to a 99 got dropped down to a 98 due to chemistry reasons so not a big concern there but i went with matt collins i think he's one of the more expensive 98 overall mold breaker cards they're all right around the same price range but we are going to end up selling that card uh let me open up these strategy items and quick sell packs here and see what these total up to all of these strategy items i had in my binder i exchanged them upwards to try to build out a couple legendaries we only got one but i think i have some other things that are older sitting in the binder so those plus all of these quick sells, we're just going to go through. I got a bunch of random like mutt tips here. Hopefully this is all going to equate to a decent amount of coin. I think I can start quick selling some of these mutt champs entry tokens as well. I feel like we probably only have a couple more weeks of mutt champs as well. More quick sells from older packs that I think I opened up offline a while ago. We'll save all of our strategy items that we were not able to roll upwards that are also not BND. Uh, and, and use those later because we're going to continue to earn daily packs. It looks like we found ourselves some more mutt tips and more importantly, 
another strategy item, and a bunch more quick sells there. So this is a good amount. Every little bit is going to help. As I said a moment ago, I'm not going to be able to complete all 32 rookie premieres. So we have to be selective on the ones that we do complete. And also, you know, with, with not being able to do all 32 of them, you just don't want to make a big mistake here. Trying to avoid, you know, duplicate positions and, and things of that nature. I'll quick sell one more Mutt Champs entry token. We'll do two more here. I think we should be okay. And uh, yeah, let's see what this all totals up to be. And it's going to be 324K. Not too bad. So we're back over 3 mil. Now, the second thing to do here is basically quick sell any elites that are not 91, 93, or 95. Let me also try to sell this Mac Collins card that we got from that free pack. Looks like we might be able to get, I'll, I'll probably undercut here, but maybe if we can get like 180K for it, that would be a big W. It would definitely make things very helpful. Looks like a couple of them so closer to 200k, um, but I'll go I'll go 179,999, which will round up to 180. I don't want to bore you guys with like listing cards on the auction house. To me, that's boring to watch. I know a lot of you enjoy the the aspect of building out the team here, uh, but we'll we'll list a bunch of these cards offline and kind of catch up with you guys. On the next episode, Zerline, Justin Tuck, Tariq Willen, basically all these 98s. Anything below that, and especially like BND, actually I'm going to keep the Jeremy Chin BND because we might be able to use him later. We're liquidating the team, trying to build as many rookie premieres as possible, but still keep a somewhat competitive team because we have comp passes to grind which is going to help us get more xp which is going to earn us more season five rewards we don't want to get rid of our entire team here but there are some things in the binder uh that we don't need so we'll keep our 95s like i said you know it, it could probably be smart to sell these 94s and 94s and take the coins but mainly what i've been doing on my my main account we're going to do it on this account as well is just keeping 91 93 95 quick selling everything else and then use that training over on that 93 plus mold breakers pack which pretty much guarantees us pieces that we would need to build out red zone royale players didn't realize we had so many 89s from probably all of those like 44k ultimate legend packs that we've opened up over you know the, the span of the last month or so so a lot of good stuff in here that I honestly didn't even remember was sitting in here. We might even get up to that 100 card limit that it allows us to, uh, of things that were basically allowed to quick sell. You know what it was? I think right before Rookie Premier came out, we started, and I'm pretty sure I made a video on it thinking about it now, we started just saving everything in anticipation that all of these things uh, would be used to be able to go into various Rookie Premier sets to build out Rookie Premier tokens, and that wasn't the case. So uh, 1.4 mil in training. Did not expect that. We got a few more things. Not that, you know, like lower 80 overall cards quick sell for much, but a few more things that we can get rid of here. It all counts. It all helps. So let's total it all up here. We'll keep a couple of these uh, 80 overall cards because we're going to need those for the current comp pass that just came out today. And there's another 23K in training. So almost 1.5 mil to open up on those Mold Breakers packs. Again, that's not something that I'm going to put you through and make you watch. Uh, but that's going to equate to a bunch of 93s and 95s, which will equal more Red Zone Royale cards, which will equal more Rookie Premier players. Uh, for now, and you may have noticed it as I was kind of going through my binder here, we currently have 498. So three of them here, and then the fourth one. We still haven't really cashed out any of our Rookie Premier tokens as far as I know and I do want to show you the squad and just tell you what I'm thinking here so we're probably going to build out left and right tackles because those are positions on our current team that are certainly replaceable though I'm going to lose for the moment my threat detector I think uh, but we're going to build out our left and right tackle and the main reason I'm doing that I've talked about it on my main account we'll say it here again I think one of the smartest things to do if you're not able to build all 32 rookie premieres is build a full offensive line assuming it will come available so far through two parts of this promo half of the promo we have a left tackle right guard and a right tackle hopefully we get a center and a left guard i am taking a little bit of a risk you know we don't know if ea will duplicate duplicate these positions and for part threes and fours we get another left or right tackle or both and if so then we just really have no way of knowing who's going to be the better card in madden 24 shoot we don't even know what cards these what these overalls are going to be if they're going to go 
up in overall throughout the year if they're going to stay the same and be at like an 85 or an 86 we really don't know so i think one of the smarter things to do if you're not doing all 32 is just build out these 98s like i have a couple now and wait it's not a ter terrible idea to wait until all 32 rookie premieres come out and then make the decisions on the ones that you want to do if you're impatient or you want to do what i'm doing now you know go ahead and go for it but you have until august 10th and all of the cards should be out by july 20th so you have that you know window to build the ones that you want and hopefully by then we'll know what overalls these cards are going to be in madden 24 but for now i'm going to get rid of john madden i'm going to get rid of darnell Wright. funny enough i think we're replacing darnell Wright with darnell Wright because he got a rookie premiere if i'm not mistaken and those are going to be the first rookie two rookie premieres that we build uh, on this account in two cards that we're going to carry over so we got our left and right tackle all situated to start out the mutt 24 year for our no money spent account and obviously we're getting 299 overall cards in this year's game that will help us still stay competitive grinding out the comp pass anthony bradford will likely be another the Anthony Bradford will likely be another one that we get, mainly because he's the only right guard currently, and he gets Threat Detector and Secure Protector, both for 0 AP in Madden 23. But I don't want to get rid of that AJ Can card just yet, because I feel like I spent so much time, so much sweat grinding for that card, going through a competitive pass so late in the year that I just feel like I could maybe move him over to left guard and, and play him that way, and maybe that's something we explore to do. Um, but for now, I'm going to keep him on the team. So Paris John Jr. is going to be our current left tackle and we will also bring him in to Madden 24 and then we're going to get as I said Darnell Wright over at right tackle we'll have to see if he gets threat detector for 1 AP if he does that will actually work out for us uh, but he's going to be our right tackle and boom there you have it our first two rookie premier cards on the no money spent squad for Madden 23 prepping for Madden 24. And here it is, the new lineup with the two new additions. Not an exciting change by any means, but I'm happy to get two rookie premieres under our belt. And both of the guys that just got replaced will now be able to be sold, which will bring some more coins into the account. The one, I'll call it a problem that I'm noticing or that I'm probably going to run into, is I have a bunch of these Steam Team Remix cards. And if I eventually get rid of them, I'm going to get some training back, but it's like 90k training, which isn't a ton at this point in the year. So the Theme Team Team remix guards will probably stay on the team for the longest time until we're like really broke and need to scratch and claw our way to get any more rookie premieres uh, but kyle pitts will probably be on the way out i'm going to try to hang on to lamar jackson as long as possible until we can get a suitable quarterback who maybe can get two zero ap abilities probably should have went after kurt warner on that last competitive pass but he'll get us some coin back there uh, on defense julius peppers will probably be the free golden ticket pick at the end of the field pass level Level 55 at water is a LTD. So we know we got 400 K coming back. Chris McAllister is probably going to be gone. We will likely grind for the Montez sweat competitive pass card so we can get rid of Aaron Donald though. Again, it's going to be, you know, not much training back in return, but a lot of the defense is BND as well here. So we got a few cards that'll get us some coins back a little bit over three mil, almost 1.5 mil in training. I think just kind of rounding out on the top of my head, I think in total, I think we might be able to get like 12 rookie premier is done on the no money spent account i want a full offensive line and then we'll kind of figure out skill position players next or do we go maybe d line these are things we don't want to need to spend our coin on to start the mutt 24 year out and that's really what i'm thinking about right now so that's it that's the video thank you guys for tuning in more to come probably on thursday when part two of the promo comes out but thank you for watching this one part three of the promo my bad thank you for watching this one my name is popular stranger i'm out peace